Now then, welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind Vanilla 1.9 server. As you can see, I've found the elusive desert. I explored for a long, long time, and even a savannah nearby. It's a very big desert though. I've explored around the desert to see what I could find. And uh, yeah, I've had quite a few encounters with very nice things on the way. Uh, I figured I would uh, just pillow up because it's night time and mobs are spawning everywhere. So I've just got a like, kind of safe platform to say hello everybody. And the moon is setting, so uh, should have a sunrise soon. I thought I'd take this opportunity though just to show you a few uh, slideshow type things. A few images of places that I've seen on my journey here. It was a boat ride, it was legging it across the land, it was hiding in holes over many nights. Found a, a village on the way, looked quite nice. Um, a tropical island on my way to the desert. And I also found um, a dog. Unfortunately, when I've logged back in today to record, the dog is no longer with me. He was with me when I logged out, and when I've logged back in, he's gone. I had tamed him, he had followed me, he had been a faithful, faithful hound for a little while. I even travelled with him in a boat to find the desert in the first place. One of the main reasons I've stopped here and started recording is... Da -da -da -da, there is a desert temple right here. And it's quite well revealed as well, it's not very deep, because this uh, desert isn't very deep. There's quite a bit over there behind me that's uh, mountainous that we can start hacking down and taking apart and all that kind of stuff but the majority of the desert is fairly flat i found fairly flat but it'll still do if people want to get desert stuff i think the most important thing is to get the cactus back to spawn because we don't have cactus in spawn at the moment uh so that'll be good and i want to also make a portal from here from the desert back to spawn and that's going to take a lot of doing so, I don't know whether to do it at the temple over here behind me, or whether to do it over at the village. The village would be pretty cool, I suppose. That would be a good option. But this kind of, it's on the coast, and it looks like a cool place to, like, found a settlement, in a way, where the hyperminers can start uh, building things in the desert, or just come and reap the benefits of all the desert stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe both. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe both. Maybe both. Uh, but now it's daylight. We should see that most of the baddies are departing, burning. Apart from that zombie down there who's having a little swim. Oh, they're having a little pool party down there now. They're having a pool party. Where are they? Pool party? Yes, a pool party. Good job. And how many arrows have I got? 55. I've got enough arrows to take care of some. Oh, and the server's restarting in a minute. Okay, well, I, I guess I will be back in a bit. I uh, I will let the server restart. I might log out just before so that all these bad guys uh, disappear. Uh, bong, ah, power five bowl, baby. Yeah, I think I might log out around here. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going down to get the bones after all. So, I will see you back in a bit. <laughs> Alrighty, well, logged back in and everything's gone. Because I logged out just before the restart, uh, everything would have despawned because there's nobody around and the chunks were loaded slightly. So that's good. Uh, Basket's joined. We've also got Mini Red. He's just joined the server. He joined at the restart. And Basket MC, who joined just before the restart, as you may know, from the, uh, the modded server. Um, close friend of Scotty, who works with him quite a bit on video. But anyway, let's <laughs> let's go and explore this thing. I also like that it's got like a little garage by it. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, that might be a little lava pool, actually. Uh, no, it's just a cave system. A cave system that nothing can get out of. Yep, nothing can get out of there. That's good. All right, safe. Uh, so, towers. What's going on in here? Um, this is different. Clay. The last time I discovered a desert temple, it was wool. And now it's clay. 
Let's see. Have we got anything to worry about in any of these areas? Uh, Mini Red got finally home. Good job. Good job there, sir. Good job. Let's just block these entrances off. Don't want anything coming through there at me. And, yep, that's good. All right. And just block of that off as well. All righty then. So, let's make sure the place is lit. Don't want to see anything nasty coming up when I come back up. And I'm using this as a bit of a base camp. Now, <clears throat> I've been basically living out of my inventory for a very long time now, so I'm quite glad to have a place just to kind of call home. Home from home right now, which is good. I like. So I'm going to call this place home from home, and I'm going to take all of this stuff that I've got that I'm not really using and throw it all in here. Just because... Well, I'm going to throw that on the floor. Just because I don't want to lose everything when I go down there. Um, I'll take that as well. Yeah, there we go. So if, uh, if things still do the same as they used to, you just basically go down the side here. Let's go down the side side. Yeah, it's still the same. Good, good. All right. Let's light it up for you guys on the way down. And let's go and see what's in the chest, shall we? Get rid of that. Sounds like a zombie's here already. Okay. Okay. And let's get this TNT out of the way. Oh, there's nothing below it, that's good. Okay. TNT done, out of the way. Let's uh, pop up and put the floor back in place. Right, so what we got? We've got some gold, we've got some gold horse armor, we've got some iron, we've got some scraps. We got some bones. I'm going to take the bones because of the dogs. Uh, some more bones. Yeah. An enchanted book of feather falling. Not bad. Nice. Bit more gold. Bit more bones. I'll take the gunpowder as well because, well, it's not so easy to come to and make TNT. Golden apple. Lovely. And more gold. And bane of arthropods. Oh, well. Never mind. And I think I'll just leave all the string. Not bothered about all the string bits. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so, this this bouncing and stacking, jump stacking, isn't so easy anymore. Now you've got something else in your hand. It's a bit weird. But there we go, that's that done. Okay, so, next up. Um, I don't really, I don't really want to take everything out with me, but I do want to go to the village. I'm kind of thinking that this place would be good for a portal, though. So I might start working on this this episode. And another thing I've noticed is these bunnies, right? The little tiny bunnies, they're all desert coloured. It's literally in the desert, lots and lots of desert bunnies. It's amazing how many I've seen. There's another one there, look. Another one there. Another one there. It's probably hundreds of them all around. So <laughs> a big desert rabbit farm <laughs> would be awesome as well. Uh, but let's... Let's start around here then. Let's figure out what we're going to do. Let's do something to make a portal at the back, maybe. Portal at the back and set that up. And then maybe something up the stairs. Maybe have a bit of a mine shaft down there to get the materials I need. I only really need to get myself, um, get myself a couple of buckets of lava and stuff. It'd be nice if I could get the lava close by, wouldn't it? So, there's eight more iron, so I can get another couple of buckets made. That's good. We'll have that. And what else? I'll put a bed down over here as well, so I can reset my spawn. Um, I wonder if I pop out behind if I do that. Uh, I should really only have the front of the, the place open, shouldn't I? Let's go acacia wood down the backs. Uh, I'm already designing the place, and I haven't yet set myself up properly. Look, like, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so I could have beds in here, like this. Set this up and put beds in, and then that's like a, a lot of resetting your spawn spaces. You should respawn at the bottom of the bed, shouldn't you? You get to sleep in there and then respawn at the bottom of the bed. I could do that all the way along. That might be cool. 
and set up a portal at the back here. Yeah, I think that. And then you head on out through the portal and out this way. And what about this? Maybe turn that into glass or turn it back into the sandstone. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have a mess around with it a bit. I need to find the resources that I can get. There's obviously plenty of water. And I'm pretty sure I've passed a few lava pools on the way. So I can get some uh, la buckets of lava. Uh, or even pour water over a lava pool and bring all the obsidian back to make a portal. And that'll be good. So let me work on that and I'll be back. Okay, well... We're getting started, we're getting underway, but I'm not getting very much success yet. Um, I've been exploring the desert to try and find a lava pool to throw some of this lovely water all over it. And I've been unable to up until now. Uh, well, I've been unable to, full stop. Capital letter. So I decided to go down into the pyramid and start um, checking out the mines and stuff. And of course, there's a really great big mine shaft under there. Got one bucket of lava out of the mine shaft. Went a bit lower. Didn't find anything down there either. Nothing, nothing going on. I can't, I can't do it. And I can't go any lower right now because I haven't got any ladders. So I decided to make a tree farm. And just because of that, I'm saying hello to you guys. Here's an update. So yeah, it's it's going slow. This is becoming more of a a cool project rather than just find a desert return with cactus i've seen potential and when you see potential you tend to want to get on with stuff don't you so i yeah i've seen potential in this place uh, almost straight up in front of me right now uh over there don't know if i can show you but almost straight in front of me just over the rise just over there just over right on the horizon over there you can't quite see it, it's out of render distance is the village so what I was thinking was setting this up as like the port arrivals and then people can have a little area for desert build and then have maybe um, a train track or a rail system that takes people over to the village so the village could have uh, some significance over here as well for either trading and or just for getting uh, villagers from there into the portal over there and off it goes. Might do another nether portal over there at the same time. I don't know. Um, but I've also been messing with doing stuff inside as well. I'll just uh, place a few of these. Ding, ding, ding. I was just working out a, a little arrangement. I figured three, three acacia saplings coming out from that section there on both sides would look pretty cool. And double as a tree farm for me while I'm here to uh, collect everything. And sort everything out. So there's that. Uh, put acacia wood doors on, of course. Very nice, very nice. Uh, inside, well, I haven't got a lot of beds, but I've got beds, and I've set them here. Now I'm, I'm thinking along the lines of something over here as well. Let's take uh, this stack of sand. Hey, I found the dog as well. Oh yeah, I found the dog. He was right over on that hill over there, on that hill where I spent the night. He was sat. So it's almost like they. They are forced to sit once you log out because he wasn't in the seated position te uh, telling him to stay when I was camped out. And I just logged out while he was up on top of the hill. And when I came back, he wasn't there. So I didn't know where he was, of course. And I started this episode without him. But when I went up there to get the first few trees, because that, of course, is where the acacia trees are, uh, I found him just sitting there. And so, uh, yeah, I give him a quick click and he followed me. And now he's fine. He's been following me around a little bit more. Uh, yeah. So what was I saying? I was thinking of this more of a project now. A more long-term project. And I've been thinking up ideas for how to make this a useful area for people. And I don't know exactly, but I'm thinking something along those lines, maybe. Uh, behind each bed, uh, yeah, I do have enough to do this. Uh, behind each bed, I'm thinking of putting a chest in the wall like that with the stairs above it so that people can have an inventory space here. Almost like it's bunks. I think I slept in that one last, so let's put this in here like that. 
There we go. So it's almost like a little bunk, a little stopover. So when people come over here, they can uh, get a bunk and put their name above it. I figured that might be an idea. And I'm doing the portal here, three wide. There we go. And also I've put some glass in here. And there's a ladder going up into this room up here, which is nothing right now, but could be something in the future. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if I put some enchanting book table, an enchantment table or something up here, so that people can come and repair tools if they are out in the desert. Uh, sleepovers for people to store their stuff in the sleepover method. Try and get myself an ender chest as well. And there's also a mine, which we can go down this way onto the normal underside of the pyramid and then continue down and there's all of the cool stuff down there of course that you can go mining for so <clears throat> i'm going to be using the mine shaft for a little while i'm going to be using this place for a little while i'm going to be setting myself up here just for a little while but only as long as it takes me to get the obsidian and i'm a man with a plan on that front so, because I haven't been able to find any obs uh, obsidian or lava out here, I am going to mine my way down. It's really strange. It's really strange that there's no lava pools. Have they got rid of that in vanilla now? It's now deserts with water pools. Deserts with water pools just doesn't really make sense, does it? Deserts with lava pools, that kind of made sense, but it was more of a hazard than a reality, as it were. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. I don't care. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to dig down some more into the depths of the earth and dig around for a lava lake. And then once I've found a lava lake, I'm going to bring the lava up here or bring the obsidian up here, depending on which way around I do it, and uh, build a nice little portal just here. And while I'm at it, I'll be doing things like this whenever I get a chance. Alrighty, well, welcome back to the other part, the final part of this video today. I'm still out here at the desert sands area. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, thank you. Shield blocking while you're trying to jump stack. It's crazy. And there's another one there. I have succeeded in my task over here. And the sun goes down, I'll go in. Uh, I kind of like the uh, the tree going sideways. I like the tree going sideways effect. So I'm leaving that tree. I don't know about the others. I'm waiting for one to grow that's kind of becomes organic. But I fancied having it so that it grew out. So you can see the temple still nice and straightforward, I guess. Uh, give me that. Thank you. Right, let's go inside. Uh, we cannot sleep just yet. Because uh, Benito and One Wolf are out and about, and Tick is on the server somewhere, possibly still at spawn. Uh, but I did manage to get my portal lit, and I have dug a hole in the nether all the way back. And I'll show you in there in just a sec. I'm just uh, just going over the rules of the desert area. So. When they, when people arrive, because this is a community project. Oh no, one wolf got blown up now. Um, this is a community project, so when people arrive here, they're here for one reason, and that is to take all of the sand of the desert and use it for glass and sandstone and all the other uses that they may have. So, welcome to the community desert. And I've signed it. So, welcome to the community desert. Now, the rules, if you choose to follow them, are very simple. You can claim a bed and a chest for while you're over here, collecting stuff. Keep your possessions in a chest if you want to. Sleep in a bed if you want to. Uh, all, obviously, all the beds don't make any difference who sleeps in what bed, but having your own little chest here claimed is a good idea. And I will also have an ender chest here at some point. Um... I'm going to have all of these sort of arranged. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. There's more than 12 hyperminers, but there may only be 12 hyperminers coming for this at a time. It's uh, schlippy. We've got a mod on... Well, we've not got a mod on. We've got a, ca um, a command block routine going. We've got a command block something or other that was put on today 
just after I finished digging my nether hub and uh, nether hub just while I'd finished digging my nether tunnel back to the spawn area is anyone gonna gonna sleep as well is there someone I'm sleeping you sleep Benito you sleep Benito sleep one wolf sleep everybody sleep when did tick get here hey there we go so yeah they do kick you out with a bit of a blast, you do take a little like touch of damage when you come out, but never mind. Um, that is kind of only happened since we had the command block set in. I don't think it's anything to do with the placement because I slept in these beds before while I was over here on my own and I got out of bed fine, but I kind of got a little smack when I came out. So yeah, anyway, there's the, uh, there's the mine shaft down there for people to go and collect resources. There's some fires to warm yourself up on. <laughs> There's obviously the portal to get to and from. There will be an enchanting area up here, I'm decided. I'm going to put a little enchanting and toolsmithery type place up here. Maybe a few furnaces and stuff kicking around. Just so people can smelt stuff up if they want. Uh, this will be just storage of sand blocks. Just generally uh, blocks of sand that people collected but didn't actually want to keep. Or uh, blocks of cobblestone, granite and... and uh, gravel and dirt and all that kind of stuff that people collect that they don't want they can dump in those for other people and then I've currently got a few bits and pieces here that are slightly rarer but these are the things that I've been collecting while I'm over here and I'll probably take them away with me uh, and then we've got to the outside please please remove sand from the far reaches leave the temple and the village areas for builds so I kind of kind of came up with the idea to myself that I would shoot this creeper and then talk to you some more creeper be dead I did not look at you Enderman I did not look at you I did not I did not I did not look at you get him doggy get him dogs after him dogs after him go dog go dog and where are you now, Mr. Enderman? Hey? There. Oh. Come on. Can we get some? Where is he? There he is. He should be carrying a block by the looks of it. What? He's scared of me. Yes, you. Come back down here. He's, he's scared for some reason. Why isn't he attacking me anymore? That's freaky. I've seen all sorts of crazy stuff going on in uh, 1.9. And I'm trying to finish my episode, Enderman. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I will have you. I know I will have you. You know I will beat you. Come get some. Come out and face me in the open. Here, look, what you're afraid of. What are you afraid of? You gone? Are you? I think he's gone. I think he's gone. He'll come back and sneak up on me when I'm least expected. No doubt. Uh, but yeah, the the temple. Okay, so this temple area. I wanted to make this kind of like a, a small area. And it's on the coastline. I think I've said this already this episode. But it's been a while since I last recorded. So uh, I want to make this a little area for people to entry, enter into. And be able to build some sand structures some sand town structures and things so if they want to build in a sandy scape there he is i gotcha what is going on with that enderman now what is it are you my friend now are you have you stopped attacking me hey what's with this guy What's with this guy? Fine. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore Mr. Enderman and see what he does. See if he comes and tries to get me some more. He's gonna follow me. Yeah. So the area there and all the way over to the village over here, I would like. Whoa! I have not seen that hole. I nearly jumped into it. I'm gonna have to cover that up. I would like to make some kind of road or rail system. Going all the way over to what we will see over in the distance over here in a bit. Uh, a village that is going to be kind of handy. 
and it's in direct route from there over here so i'm thinking of having a little bridge over this water here from there to there right it's by this side so people can go and quarry out all of the sand around over there and all of the sand over there and leave it all empty and bare and barren but any second now yeah we'll see the village spawning in over there yep there you go you can just about see the village so i want to bring a road over to the village over here and just set up kind of a perimeter defense and kind of have it so that people can wander between the village and the temple and just go and take all the sand they want it's a very flat uh, place but with a few walls up around the built up areas people can build and do what they want in the in the area around the desert and take down the desert and take all the sand away that's the plan anyway um now all i've got to do is get back over to spawn again i've already taken all the loot and stuff the main reason i came out today was cactus i wanted to get a bit of cactus that's why i came all this way and did that adventure i came to get a single piece of cactus and when I got here, I was surprised about what I saw. The butte. Oh, and there's another village over there. I've just not spotted. I just spotted behind me over there. There's another village, a savannah village. Well, wouldn't you know it? Would you have guessed it, eh? So, okay, there's that's cool as well. But this is on the edge of, this is on the edge of the biome, and so is the temple. The two edges of the biome and I just want to link up through the flatland in between and then people can demolish the rest of the uh, desert. Uh, I'm not doing this project though yet. I said at the end of last episode that I was doing the lighthouse project at spawn and I would not be distracted. I would not. And I literally only came out to find a desert so that we could have cactus. That's the only reason I did it. The only reason. And I've been here for quite some time because once I found the desert, I wanted to link it back to spawn and I needed a safe place to be and I saw a temple and a village and I come up with all these ideas of what I want to do. So as soon as I'm finished at spawn, as soon as I've got my lighthouse completed and my spawn property complete and done any other little projects over there that I might get dragged into, I will be back over here and this will be my first community project on the server and then who knows what else i'll do after that who knows but this will be my first little thing just to get it set up so that people can come and take all the sand they need over the coming months of the server over the coming year well i doubt it'll take a year but yeah they'll empty this desert out in no time uh, but over the coming months of the server this is going to be a nice safe environment for them to come along and take the sand or build sand structures, sandstone structures, like uh, Wild West. I don't know, we turn this into Wild West Village. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But I'm not going to think about it anymore. I am going to go and kill that zombie over there that's burning by the church. Oh, I'm just going to let him burn. And <laughs> just fight him out the corner of my way. I'm just going to say bye, zombie. Uh, goodbye to you all. Thank you very much for your support and likes on the series. Once again, I will see you in the next episode of the vanilla Hypermine 1.9 server series. Goodbye. <laughs>